Ah, oh, 2020. What a dumpster fire of a year that that was for so many reasons. Naturally, the headlines were dominated by the virus that shall not be named, which kept us all locked in our homes and left most people afraid to even look at the news, let alone go outside. Still, at least we had our video games to take our minds off things. Not as many as we'd have liked, since a great number were delayed, as developers desperately scrambled to get used to working remotely. But still, for today's list, we're looking at the very best video game from the year 2020. But before we get into to it, let me remind you of the rules. A game can qualify for today's list if it was released in 2020 and received a minimum of 7 professional reviews. Whilst we do count remasters and remakes, we don't count re-releases, ports or collections, and you'll find those in the list pertaining to the year of their original release. With all of that nice and clear, it's time to get your masks on and douse yourself in hand sanitizer because I'm Ashton from Chipple Jump and here are the 10 best games of 2020. Number 10, Spelunky 2, PC, 91%. We're kicking off today's list with a title that's almost as fun to say as it is to play. Go on, treat yourself. Just say Spelunky 2 out loud and try not to smile. You can't, can you? Spelunky 2 centres on Anna Spelunky, the daughter of Guy Spelunky, protagonist of the previous game, as she sets out on a quest to the moon in order to try and find her missing parents. On her journey, she must traverse perilous caves, face deadly enemies, disarm lethal traps and collect treasures. Make the wrong move though, and it's back to the beginning of the game. Oh yeah, that's right, it's a roguelike. Like its 2008 predecessor, Spelunky 2 was met with an excellent response from critics, and was praised for retaining the charm of the original, whilst improving upon it in pretty much every way. Though many critics felt that it didn't exactly push the envelope of what a platformer could be, though they agreed that this didn't matter, as the entire game, from the graphics to the side-scrolling gameplay, was executed masterfully. Hmm, that's the end of the entry, but I don't feel like I've got to say Spelunky 2 enough times. Spelunky 2. Spelunky 2, Spelunky 2. There, that's better. Number 9, F1 2020, Xbox One, 91%. Oh yes, let's go, it's a sports game. That's, that's the phrase, isn't it? Oh, I don't know, that's normally Ben's thing. For the third year running, the F1 series has made it onto one of these lists, and by this point, we are as impressed by the continued high standards of the games as we are annoyed that we have to keep coming up with new things to say about them. F1 2020 is much like its predecessors, in the sense that much of the appeal isn't hopping into a Formula 1 car and zooming around famous circuits. In addition to all of the standard features of the series, however, F1 2020 adds a team management mode called My Team, which allows players to create their very own F1 team and engage in their day-to-day -day management. The critical response to F1 2020 was very positive, with reviewers focusing much of their attention on the new My Team mode, whilst also commending the tight gameplay, split-screen racing, and games accessibility for newcomers. The game went on to enjoy commercial success, climbing to the top of the UK sales charts, and was nominated for Best Sports Game at the TGAs, though it ultimately lost out to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, though that game didn't make this list. So, who's the real winner? Number 8, Crusader Kings 3, PC, 91%. If fast cars aren't your jam, and you'd much rather spend your time building an empire than you would an engine, then maybe you'd have a nice time with Crusader Kings 3. Set in the Middle Ages, Crusader Kings 3 tasks players with creating their own dynasty, though how they go about this is up to them. Secure alliances through diplomacy and marriage, assert your dominance with warfare, or play your enemies against one another with a little subterfuge. The world really is your oyster. Critics had a lot of good things to say about Crusader Kings 3, lavishing praise upon the gameplay, that one reviewer called a masterclass in how to take the best parts of existing systems and make them deeper and better, as well as a procedural narrative, UI and stunning visuals. The game was described as enthralling, bonkers and unpredictable, so if that's how you like your video games, then clearly Crusader Kings 3 is the title for you. Within just a month of its release, Crusader Kings 3 had sold over 1 million copies, and it went on to be nominated for the Best Sim Slash Strategy Game Award at the 2020 TGAs, though it sadly lost out to... Number 7, Microsoft Flight Simulator, PC, 91%. Well, oh, wasn't that a good segue? Indeed, the best sim slash strategy game TGA winner was Microsoft Flight Simulator, but that wasn't the only award the title won. As you might remember, that the Boeing 78710 Dreamliner occupied the top spot on our hunkiest video game boys 2020-2021 list. Oof, that is a sexy plane. Microsoft Flight Simulator isn't just a thirst trap though, it's a darned good game. As its name might suggest, Microsoft Flight Simulator simulates what it's like to jump 
into the cockpit of various aircraft and take to the sky. Not only can players choose from over 20 different aircraft, and more than 30 in the premium deluxe version, but they can literally fly all over the world, as Microsoft Flight Simulator digitally recreates the entire topography of the Earth by using Bing Maps. The game received universal critical acclaim, and was lauded for its tight controls, polished visuals, and frankly insane levels of realism presented to players, with some journalists even going as far as to call it a masterpiece. They can say all they want though, because we all know the real reason they liked it so much. Number 6. Demon Souls PS5 92% if review scores were awarded for how well a game was titled, then From Software's remake of Demon's Souls would easily be one of the worst of 2020. Because honestly, Demon's Souls is an absolute pain in the bum to say out loud. Thankfully, that's not how any of this works though. And despite its slightly awkward moniker, Demon's Souls is one heck of a game. Released as a launch title for the PS5, Demon's Souls is set in the Kingdom of Boletaria, which has been consumed by a being known as the Old one, though round the office we just call him James. Players assume the role of a hero who has been brought to Boletaria in order to slay its king, who is responsible for awakening the old one and incurring its wrath. Like the rest of the games that fall under the Soulsborne umbrella, Demon Souls is a tricky beast to master, but if you have the patience for it, it's a fantastic action RPG and, on the plus side, it is slightly easier to get to grips with in the Dark Souls series or Bloodborne. The game enjoyed a very warm critical response, with reviews calling out the improved graphics and quality of life changes as reasons why the remake is superior to the original. The title is still silly though. Number 5 Ori and the Will of the Wisps Switch 93% because 2015 was such a strong year for video games, sadly Ori and the Blind Forest didn't manage to secure a spot on our best of 2015 list. But not to worry, because here's its sequel. Based on our calculations, we expect to see the next Ori title in the top spot of our best of 2025 list. Ori and the Will of the Wisps is set immediately after the events of Blind Forest, and once again focuses on the titular Ori, who for this instalment embarks on a quest to find the Owl Pal Koo, after the pair are separate separated during a storm. A platformer of the Metroidvania persuasion, Ori and the Will of the Wisps emphasises exploration, item and upgrade collection, and backtracking to previously inaccessible areas. Many of the gameplay mechanics are taken from Blind Forest, however, Will of the Wisps introduces an autosave feature and a shard upgrade system. Upon its release, Ori and the Will of the Wisps was met with universal critical acclaim, and was lauded for its gorgeous art style, breathtaking music, interesting story, and refined gameplay. The only real downside is the amount of money you'll have to spend on the bucket loads of tissues you'll need to make it to the end of the game. Number 4 Half-Life Alex PC 93% Prior to the release of Half-Life Alex, fans of the Half-Life series had been waiting for another instalment into Valve's popular franchise for well over a decade, and though they'd hoped for a sequel to Half-Life 2, or at least a follow-up to Half-Life 2 Episode 2, most were satisfied with 2020's VR offering. Players take on the role of the eponymous Alex, a member of the Resistance that opposes the rule of the Alien Combine, as she sets out on a mission to obtain a Combine superweapon that may be able to turn the tide in favour of the Resistance. The VR gameplay puts players directly into Alex's shoes and allows them to get to grips not only with a new variety of puzzles and weapons, but also with Alex's gravity gloves, which can be used in the same manner as a gravity gun, but in our opinion, look a whole bunch cooler. Critics couldn't find nary a fault with Half-Life Alex, commending developer Valve for the gameplay, design and utilisation of VR technology. Not only was Half-Life Alex the best PC game of 2020, but at the time of writing, it's the joint best VR game of all time, alongside 2019's Beat Saber. It's no Half-Life 3, but it goes a good way to scratching that Half-Life itch. Number 3. Hades. Switch. 93%. We're off to ancient Greece now, or more specifically, the ancient Greek underworld, as we take a look at Hades, the hack and slash roguelike from Supergiant Games. Players take on the role of Zagreus, son of the eponymous Hades, as he attempts to escape from the underworld in order to find his birth mother Persephone. Naturally, Daddy Dearest isn't too happy about this, and so Zagreus must fight his way through the hordes of the underworld, collecting rewards and unlocking and upgrading abilities as he goes. Critics simply could not get enough of Hades, 
demanding everything it had to offer, from its audio-visual presentation and art style, to its fast-paced combat and authentic representation of classic Greek mythology. Some did feel that enemy encounters did come down to little more than button mashing at certain points, but in our opinion, that just makes the game more accessible to people like our writer, who aren't very good at this sort of thing. Not only was Hades a hit with both players and critics, but also won a metric flip ton of awards, including two golden joysticks, two TGAs, and no less than five, count them, five BAFTAs. You might say that Hades is one hell of a game. Get it? Number two, The Last of Us Part Two, PlayStation 4, 93%. Following the explosive finale of The Last of Us, players were left wondering exactly what would happen to Ellie and Joel, knowing that the latter may well have doomed humanity. And they were left waiting seven years for an answer before The Last of Us Part Two came along and put them out of their misery. The story picks up four years after the incident at the hospital, by which point Joel and Ellie's relationship is somewhat strained. However, when Joel and Tommy fail to return from patrol, and a big spoiler warning here, Ellie sets out to find them, only to walk in on Abby, the daughter of the surgeon that Joel murdered, beating Joel to death with a golf club. Cue revenge plot. Critics lauded the game, directing their praise at everything from the graphics and audio to the story and the performances of Ashley Johnson, Laura Bailey, and Troy Baker as Ellie, Abby, and Joel, respectively. Sadly, not everyone was impressed, and the game faced significant backlash from players who were displeased with the direction the narrative took. Oh well, I guess you can't please everyone. And it's still a great game, regardless of what the naysayers would have you believe. And number one, Persona 5 Royal, PS4, 95%. Now, before anyone starts looking at you there, poised and ready at your keyboard, about to shout at us in the comments, yes, Persona 5 Royal is an enhanced version of Persona 5, and so technically should not qualify for this list. But since said enhancement is so grand, we're willing to give it a pass, and you should too, because it is an excellent game. Like the non expanded version of the game, Persona 5 Royal centers on a character known by the mononym Joker, a student who transfers schools after wrongly being accused of assault. As the school year progresses, he and his fellow classmates find themselves able to wield special powers, and form the vigilante group the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. In addition to everything that came with Persona 5, Royal also includes an additional Phantom Thieves member, a playable third semester, a new area of the city, and extra plot points and social interactions. Critics were blown away by the game, commending it for refining an already brilliant title, and praising the new characters, storylines, and music. In short, if you're going to play Persona 5, Five, Royal is the way to do it. So well done to you, Persona 5 Royal, for being the very best game of 2020. In all honesty, you're probably the best thing of 2020 full stop, but then again, that's not really saying anything, is it?